In this fully animated lecture, I will teach you a type of chemical bond, known as metallic bond. So what exactly is a metallic bond? It is a chemical bond formed between metal atoms, due to mobile, or free electrons. Before going to discuss metallic bonds, let me teach you, the basic difference between metals, and non-metals. Metals are known as electropositive elements, because, they tend to lose electrons easily. And when they lose their electrons, they become positively charged ions. On the other hand, non-metals are electronegative elements, because, they have tendency to gain electrons. And when they gain electrons, they become negatively charged ions. So metals have tendency to lose electron, while non-metals have tendency to gain electrons. Remember that, when metal and a non-metal comes along, they form ionic bond. In ionic bonding, the metal atom loses electrons to become a positively charged ion, while the non-metal gains those electrons to become a negatively charged ion. These opposite charges attract each other, creating a strong bond, known as ionic bond. When two non-metal atoms come along, they form covalent bond. In covalent bonding, atoms share electrons to achieve stability. So the bond formed, by mutual sharing of electrons, known as covalent bond. So ionic bond is formed, by transfer of electron. While covalent bond is formed, by the sharing of electrons. When two metal atoms come along, they form metallic bond. They don't transfer or share electrons. So how metal atoms form the bond, and become stable? Metals consist of closely packed atoms, arranged in a regular pattern. When these atoms, lose some of their outer electrons, they form positive ions. Why metals lose their electrons? Metals lose their electrons, because they are large sized atoms, and hold of nucleus over the outermost electrons is weak. These negatively charged electrons, of all metal atoms move freely in the spaces between atoms of a metal. Now these electrons are known as, mobile or free electrons, and are not attached to any particular atom. These mobile electrons are attracted, all the positively charged metal ions. And positively charged ions attracts, all the negatively charged mobile, or free electrons. These forces hold the metal atoms together, forming a metallic bond. So according to the electron C theory, Nuclei of metal atoms, submerged, in the sea of free delocalized electrons. These free moving electrons, surround the positive ions, and hold the metal atoms together. Let me explain, some properties of metals. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Why are metals such a good conductors of, heat and electricity? In order for a material to conduct electricity, it needs to have free charges, that can move current. Metals have free electrons that can carry electrical current through the material. Similarly, for conducting heat, these free electrons can transfer thermal energy through the metal by colliding with neighboring atoms and passing on their kinetic energy. So free electrons in metals are responsible for conducting heat and electricity. Metals are malleable and ductile. What does it mean for a metal to be malleable? Malleability is the ability of a metal to be hammered or rolled into thin sheets. One of the most well-known example of a malleable metal is gold. Gold is so soft and malleable that it can be easily shaped into jewelry and coins. On the other hand, ductility is the ability of a metal to be stretched into wire. Copper is a perfect example of a ductile metal. It can be easily drawn into thin wires, which are used in electrical wiring. Metals show their metallic luster. What exactly is metallic luster? It's the shiny surface of metals, when they're polished. This is because of their ability to reflect light. This reflection is because of their free electrons, that interact with light, causing it to bounce off the surface, and create beautiful shine. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please, consider subscribing to our channel for, more content like this.